welcome back to my channel. It's nice to see you again. So today I've made for you this look. It's like a really, really festive look. I just thought it's a good idea to show you uh, a way to glam up for Christmas or for the days, like festive days that are coming. So yeah, I hope you guys will enjoy this and let's start. I will start with my normal foundation routine and this time I'm using a foundation brush so I can get a smoother finish. I am using two types of liquid foundation so I can get a nice color that matches my skin tone. With the brush, I will apply the foundation on my skin to cover any blemishes or imperfections. to take my highlighting concealer and using my fingers I'm gonna apply this under my eyes to cover any potential dark circles and brighten up the look. Then I'm gonna take my Maybelline concealer to cover any redness around my chin. to apply lip balm before moving on to the next step. It is really important to have moisturized lips when applying lipstick. Taking a powder brush, I will apply my Rimmel London Stay Matte Powder to set the foundation and concealer and also to cover any shiny areas and for my cheeks, I will apply a little bit of highlighter to create that healthy nice looking glow. And of course, I'm going for a very natural blush because we will be working with a lot of eyeliner and we don't want to create an overdone image. to keep my eyebrows as natural as possible and for this I'm only taking a matte brown eyeshadow that matches their color and with an angled brush I'm filling and contouring them. I'm applying the I Love Stage Primer by Essence. This will help me create a smoother look and also will maintain my eyeshadow in place for a longer wear. I'm starting with a white base primer. This will help me brighten up the colors that I'm using. Using a shimmering plum eyeshadow, I will apply it on the crease using a fluffy brush. I will blend the eyeshadow really well, building up the smoky eye effect. Take your time and add the color little by little. taking a matte white eyeshadow and I will apply it on my eyelids. Using the fluffy brush again, I'm blending these two colors for a nicer finish. I want this look to be a little more dramatic and I will be applying a shimmering brown eyeshadow in the corner of my eyes by blending it really well for a more defined look. Not forgetting to highlight my brow bone with a beautiful champagne color and after I will go ahead with some more white eyeshadow to maintain that beautiful contrast between the colors. For my waterline, 
my pinkish eye pencil which is also waterproof. This will make my eyes look fresh and bright for longer. We are moving on to the most important step and we are talking about the eyeliner. This look is all about the cat eye, the way you work your eyeliner and I must say I will create a very defined winged finish. If you are not very good with drawing a perfect cat eye shape, I recommend starting with an eyeliner pencil. It's so easy to use and it's perfect for beginners with no doubt you will be able to improve your eyeliner skills and you will not have shaky hands anymore. After creating a dramatic shape, I will use a liquid eyeliner over the top which is darker and it will help me to create a more defined winged shape. Then apply some black mascara and your eyes will look gorgeous. Next, the lips business. I'm taking this red lip pencil and I will make sure to create that perfect diva look. Contour your lips first and try not to exaggerate them. Remember, you want to be a diva, not a drag queen. After that, fill in your lips and finish them with a bit of transparent gloss. And you are done! Finish this look by curling your hair with a curling wand and try not to exaggerate the curls. Remember we have a lot of eyeliner and red leaves and a few curls will be more than enough. watching and don't forget to write comment and subscribe for more videos and if you like me and if you like what I'm doing I am really I'll be really really happy if you give a thumbs up and leave a comment down below and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook I will leave the links uh, down in the description box I'll see you next time Mwah. bye